Welcome to Hell. Prologue Luciferia was born into a royal family of demons. They, at birth, had been expected to become protectors of the hellscape from as early as 1,600 years old. Lucy lived up to most of the expectations needed of her, and still chooses to do so they don't disappoint their family. But, even if they are from a royal family, and the child of Satan, it doesn't change how the other demons interacted with young Lucy. Lucy had a secret, and this secret led to Satan having a huge disapproval of Lucy, but the secret in question? Well, that's to learn later. Just know, Lucy dealt with both that and some feeling of loneliness, despite the praise of others, and being thought of as good-looking, and with the amount of people they managed to help, still no one cared enough about them to realize that they too, needed some form of help. Someone to give them that feeling of comfort, someone to let them see that they weren't just someone to help others and not be cared about and that dream was soon to come true. Most humans Lucy interacted with at that point were either random people who died on the surface, and or didn't have much of an interest in demons, and none even tried to interact much with them. Lucy had become someone who helped everyone, hid their true feelings, and knew this was how things would be but maybe someone to save her from this cycle would be soon to come. Maybe. CH1, Greeting the Guest I awoke in what I presumed to be the fiery depths of hell, my head had also hurt real bad, and even worse, I didn't even know or remember how I got there, think it had something to do with a party, upon looking around, there were red demons everywhere some would scary and some would odd looking ones. None had really noticed me, but I had, in fact, noticed the giant horned winged beast. He had a giant throne and an even bigger trident he had gripped tightly in his grasp. Why I, I I was scared, scared beyond human belief, what was this strange beast going to do, and, would it hurt me? I had called out to one of the demons, and was abruptly greeted with a short, slim, ladylike in appearance demon instead, but they had kept their posture as straight as possible. Hey human, my name is Lucy. They said monotonously I I don't know who I am I just kind of woke up here. I said, shaking and nervous. Well, better get used to having a hard time in hell. After all, life is gonna be even more of a bitch here, I'd really know. They said with a small look of sadness, and through all that, I was able to hear their voice. It sounded great, but, their voice seemed a little deeper and monotonous than that of a normal female I'd know, unless maybe that's how female demons work haha. I sighed, then, listen, Lucy, do you know a way out of this accursed place, I'm already terrified as hell, wait. I shouted. Haha, <laughs> calm yourself down, human, and also stop yelling, anyways, see that goat looking guy. They shook a little and continued, that's Satan, my, dad he doesn't like me greeting visitors with as warm a welcome as I quite usually do, so. Er, hello they said with a tad bit of excitement. What the hell? Is this right? He doesn't really like my appearance either, no demons really ever do, I'm starting to not even myself. They said sadly, frowning a little. Uh, why's that? I said with curiosity. Well, we can't talk about this out in the open so, how about I show you to your torture room dash I interrupt them torture room, what the fuck? I scream. Well, uh, duh. Yeah that's what happens to all people down here, unless, you can appease Satan they said. I shuddered a little. But my thoughts were on Lucy, this this demon here they clearly look similar to most of these demons, and almost female like too, but, Something was off about their appearance. 
I kept my eyes focused on them why are you staring at me, human? They asked, unsure of what had me so puzzled. Uh, well um. I sigh a little bit so, what, gender were you again? I quickly blurt out. TCH, listen bud, whoever and wherever we are, none of that matters, I just need to help you out of here, so I'll help you get to good terms with my dad, and in exchange, you try and become my friend. Anyways, all you have to do is get onto my dad's good side and, that's uh, about it. They said. Eh, how long does that usually take, and how hard? I ask. Well my dad is kinda, hard to help, you will be, evaluated, on your life. It usually takes about, a few millennia to truly leave without a miracle. God damn it. I loudly interrupt. This place is strange. Who is this Lucy demon? Why is she so, saddened? Time to find out. CH2, getting to know Lucy. Lucy seems nice, but I'm not sure what they seem to want to even hide. Sometimes it feels like they don't want to tell me something, almost as if they're ashamed of it. You know what? I want to get to know M better I mean after all, they are also gonna be my guide around the rough, tricky landscapes of literally hell. Hey. It's one of those human things, what the hell are you here for? A buff giant demon said. I don't know man, no way in hell of me figuring it out, wait hey you know Lucy. I said. He immediately squealed and covered his mouth. Why you mean Lucy Furia? He had shouted, a few demons stared at us, still with some with blank expressions on their faces. He quickly readjusts himself ahem holy crap everyone knows about her. She's like the most known, but secretive demon here, and she also acts like no other female demons here, it's so weird. Along with that, she has tons of beef with her dad. Which are the reasons as to why everyone knows about her strange life. He shouts. Ugh, god damn, sir, enough about me. Tell us about yourself, kind sir. If you cannot come up with anything, I will. She said. Well I'm a demon, and I'm pretty strong and, I, uh, did I forget to say I'm a demon. But Lucy interrupts him. Oh, so you're just an average jock. Really good to know. She says in a sarcastic tone. Ha, okay I gotta say that's a good one, but, fuck I really am in hell. I say with a sigh. So, Lucy, do you know why everyone calls you, secretive and really odd? You seem, ERM, quite nice and normal to me. I ask them in a clearly nervous tone. I'm not so sure myself maybe because I don't exactly act like how most other female demons do, or other demons in general. I curse, yeah, big shocker there, but so do other demons so, uh, as for the secret part well, that's better to be kept away, and my dad doesn't like it, plus I even don't care much for what most other female demons do. Maybe people think I'm more of a guy or something. Which is totally untrue. They said. Oh, so you are a girl. I ask. Uh, yeah. Duh. What else do you think I would be you d dummy? She jokingly asks. I don't know, I guess you are a girl demon then, I say. Besides that though I don't feel anyone would actually care unless I am the way I am, unless I live the way I do now. Lucy says a frown now covering her once somewhat happy expression, no, Lucy, you're in a place where, well these type aren't for you. But I find you interesting Lucy, I want to know more about you still, even if we've just a well met. I say. NN. 
I suppose, you are just a human, and it's strange you care enough to talk to me like this but, hum I'll take it, she says. Oh, and hey. I could tell you about myself too. I say excitedly. Yeah, yeah but, let's take you to the room first. She brings me to a dimly lit hallway with a dark red carpet and red doors, each numbered. The hallways we were in had the doors numbered 1 to 10, and she took us to door 6, and opened the door up for me. Keep your story a bit short, I'll have to be back to my dad soon, he will decide if you are well, worthy of staying in eternal torture. She says, a little saddened. My face had now grown a worried expression, but I went on anyways. W well, I don't remember much about my past life, I know I'm a male, and I can drive cars, I wasn't yet married though, I think I may have, kicked the bucket. I am now also saddened. Hey, I promise I'll try my best to get you back alive and home, I will, you have still have a life you need to get back to. She says, and then holds her arms out for me. I smile and I hug her real tight. Eh, okay, enough of the mushy stuff, blah, see you tomorrow, maybe. Possibly. Good night. She says as she looks down, her face now in a very sad look, and she walks out the room. Damn. Not even 24 hours in and I'm already forced with the knowledge that I may very well do bidding for eternity unless something I've never met before, likes me. I don't think I'm cut out for this, Lucy, I'll miss you.